What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a Super Coach video. Today, I'm going to go through the top 10 rookies of the JLT Week 2, Week 1s and 2. So, I'm going to go through the my top 10. They're in, they're not really in order, but um, we're going to get straight into it here, guys. Uh, number one here for me is Ed Vickers Willis. Boy, does he look impressive. Play on the wing, defensive, like half back on wing. He looks superb. Only priced at 123. He will definitely be getting a gig in the North Melbourne starting lineup. Um, his scores so far in the JLT have been 87 and 80. Um, I'm pretty sure every team would have Ed Vickers. Ed in his side, um, because he's just fantastic. Um, so much you can say. I mean, he's going to get a lot of game time down there at North Melbourne, as North Melbourne's back line and sort of outside roles aren't fantastic. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's good, good. He's very good. I'd pick him in my side. He is fantastic. Here we go. Tom Stewart here from Geelong. He is fan-bloody-tastic. He's a mature-age draft pick. Oh, boy, did he look fantastic week one of the JLT. Playing against Hawthorne, he was so solid. He's playing more of a centre-half back sort of role. Um, as I said, he's very solid. Scored 86. He got about, I think it was like 11 marks, which is just fantastic from a young young player from his first game. We now with Harry Wig from the Adelaide Crows. Has been in the Adelaide system for quite a long time, but really hasn't found his feet. But um, his first game against Richmond was fantastic. Picked up a lot of the ball, got about 25 disposals. Uh, picked up 78 super coach points. He looked fantastic, I must admit. He looked real good down there at Adelaide. He'll be getting a lot of game time, as especially if Rory Sloan doesn't get up for week one, which would be just horrendous if he doesn't get up. I'll be shattered as I am a Crow supporter. That would be heartbreaking. Um, number here, we've got number four. We've got Daniel Lloyd here. Uh, from Jetta West, plays a lot of midfield. He played Ruck Rover in the first game. He looked like a real hard, hard unit, like a Jack Viney. I reckon he plays like Jack Viney. Real stocky sort of unit. Uh, picked up 115 super coach points. Picked up, I believe it was around nearly, it was late 20s disposals. So he looks good. I didn't watch too much of the GWS game, but um, the stats were proving he looked fantastic. Um, we got got pick, pick number three, I believe, Tim Toronto. He looked, he's got a big body, actually. He's pretty stocky, Tim. Um, he's got, he scored 93 super coach points in his first game. Picked up, I think it was like 19 disposals. Got a couple of tackles, which is not bad. Um, I don't, I really haven't seen too many teams pick him. But, um, look, I might be picking him, possibly. Might be picking him. Um, here we go. Next one here, we got Josh Begley. Kicked four goals uh, yesterday for Essendon in their warm-up game. Picked up 76 super coach points. Um, have not seen too many sides with him, to be honest. Um, honest obviously, it was his first game. Um, kicked four goals. He looked he looked solid. Um, I don't know if I can see him getting a real gig down at Essendon. Um I reckon he will. He'll be in there. He'll be in the mix for round one. And uh, he'll be a good, good pick-up if he does get round one, as he's priced at 117. Here we go. We've got Francis Watson, priced at 102. Another midfield player down there at West Coast. Picked up 86 super coach points in his week one. He looks real solid. Um, He played pretty sure a half-forward midfield sort of role on the wing. Um. A lot of the footy, he looked hard, and like another sort of Jack Viney sort of player. Always goes in head first, bang, it picks up the delivery and bangs it off. He looks superb. Very good pickup down there at uh, West Coast. And this bloke's probably been my number two best player, Braden Pruess, the ruckman from North Melbourne. Boy, did he do well in his first two games. He is my backup ruckman for the first game. Round one, he will get a gig. Um, first game he got uh 83 and he got 93 this week, so I've seen quite a lot of uh teams with him, which are uh, 
which is very good. Um, he's a very solid player. He play, he's played a lot of rugby down there in Sydney, so he he's definitely been in a couple of teams I've looked at. So um, yeah, we're gonna go with Daniel Butler and Tyre Mills here, both sort of play outside sort of roles. They're not really hard ball get sort of players, but they will rock notch up some of the footy this year. Daniel Butler picked up 75, so we coach points in his first game. And Mills has just got 60 and 58. But um, those, this is my top 10 rookies, guys. We'll have a link to my Facebook in the description. Check it a like if uh, you do enjoy that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.